there. I leave it to your conscience because it's easy to blame it on Doi and say Doi is a liar. What motive do I have to lie? Fucking liar. It's easy for all of you to put it on Doi's head and say Doi is the problem because nobody in the garden is going to stand up and say, no, Doi did not say this thing. Why would I lie? We all sat there and he said it. Sissy was there. As we were having the conversation, Kim came into the conversation and both of them wanted to end the conversation. I was the only one that was willing to keep the conversation going. And he's standing there looking me in the face, lying to Kim and saying that he never said it. But you're going to lose her regardless because when they play that clip and she finds out that you're a damn liar, you're going to lose her anyways. Fucking liar. You have no balls. It's easy for them to put it up. Leo, please hurry up. I'm the food man. I have no motive to lie. There's no reason for me to lie. There's no reason. He has more reasons to lie because he doesn't want to lose Kim. But guess what? She's gonna leave this house and she's gonna watch that clip. And it would have been better if you'd have told her I said it and I'm sorry than telling lies to her face. So you're gonna lose her anyways, regardless. Liar. welcome back to the channel you guys if you're new here please make sure you subscribe if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back you guys and as you can tell from the video yeah i know things are getting worse yeah things are really getting worse and you haven't seen the craziest part yet you haven't seen the worst part yet because your though people are getting knockouts here I mean, Pere, you know, knockout the in, of course, yeah. So please make sure you watch the entire video to see what happened because things are about to get down. Say anything. Let her let Susie come right now and let her see. Why would I lie? For Christ's sake, why would I lie? I will not speak with so much violence. Why would I lie? For Christ's sake. This is Big Brother. Yesterday, you, you spoke, you guys spoke, I did not say a word, I did not ask any question because I honestly did not want to put anybody on the spot. Even after all of that, I even need to apologize to him for even putting, putting him in such a situation that things like this could be said about him. Not knowing that for us for him to call me and he told, telling me that apparently I really even told him about the conversation in the room, the room conversation that he also walked into. So you were not there when they were talking about it. Neo told you what they said. Then you walk into the conversation for the better part of the conversation and you were still there. And I was like, why are you entertaining such conversations in this house? Why are you not walking away from these conversations? Why are you not walking away from these conversations? And that's why I warned him about that this thing just before we left the kitchen. And yet he still went to go and have that conversation because that is the only reason why this outburst happened. Like, why are you having this conversation? What are you trying to prove? What are you trying to prove? Ah, I'm tired though. But just like, conversation has nothing to do with I hate when something has nothing to do with somebody and you just insert yourself into it and call yourself judge jury. Like, ah. Oh. Like, just mind your business. Like, mind your business. Like, mind your business. Mind your business. Now oh, they're out there laughing and happy. Meanwhile, a scene has been created. Did you guys see that? Like, did you see what Perret did to Biggie's prom? So confused. And after this, guys, Perret was called by Big Brother. I don't know what he was told, but yo, it was crazy. Like, you guys, that 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 happened, you guys. That happened, and it really sucks for real. Like, how the oh my god, the audacity! First of all, to ruin Biggie's property, like. That punch could have actually 
hate doyin like for real you guys yo that that was crazy but you guys if you have enjoyed this video please make sure you subscribe like this video give this video a huge thumbs up you guys because i know it was the best yeah mm -hmm. and make sure you comment down below in the comment section let me know what's your opinion about about this situation like what do you guys think about this entire situation and yeah just like share subscribe comment down below let me know what you guys think about doyin Pere and the fight and i'll catch up with you in my next one